Yes, it does. You look like you're enjoying yourself. Yes, also. I love cooking. Yeah. I love it. There's nothing better than the smile on somebody's face when they're eating a good meal. And this is not only going to be a good meal, it's going to be a healthy meal. Um, well, I always admired when my grandmother used to cook when I was young. So I've been blessed like that. I always watched my grandmother cook with the stewed chicken and she didn't give us a lot of fried food. She used to always like stew or bake or steam. And she was a fabulous cook. Everything my grandmother cooked was perfect. So I modeled myself after her. After, when I turned about 17, I got a job with a um, French chef down on Samson Street at the La Chimere restaurant. His name was Bill Zimmerman. He was also a, a fantastic chef. He told me if I went into service or went to college, I could come back and run his restaurant. So I went in the Navy, took up um, MS, Mess Management Specialist, and when I came back, his restaurant was closed. So I went out on my own. I worked in many establishments, uh, bar establishments and restaurants in Philadelphia. And after cooking for a while, I got kind of bored and I started doing management. So I managed like every fast food restaurant in the city from Cinnabon, Burger King. I managed every, every fast food. But my passion has always been cooking and I've always catered parties for people at bars or weddings. So now I'm committing more of my time to catering. I've been catering for 20 years actually. Doing a diabetic piece, so I'm gonna do a low fat, diabetic a uh, low low fat low calorie low salt meal we're going to do salmon grilled salmon actually i'm going to kind of like stir fry it with the um red peppers onions celery we're going to do brown rice and sauteed squash this will be a total of 350 calories it'll have zero trans fat two grams of saturated fat i already said 350 calories 387 omega-3 that's what the fish is omega-3 which is very good for you for your brain for everything fish is always good for you um 3.3 grams of polyunsaturated fat and 22 grams of protein Otherwise, you could use non-cooking non-stick cooking spray but oil usually works a little better there's a few more calories but i won't tell okay. <laughs> and does that have an effect on um, a diabetic It just gives it more calories. It's more calories. So we're gonna wipe down the grill. We're gonna put on our gloves because you all good chef always uses his gloves. I sort of did these in chunks so it'll be more flavorful instead of flat because fish usually breaks up real easily. So instead of slicing it, I chunked it. And is there any pre-seasoning? Actually, yes, marinate? ma'am. I marinated it in balsamic vinegar and lemon juice with um, basil, thyme, and Italian seasoning. Well, if you didn't want to do it on the grill, the oven is just as, and the oven, no, no, because you don't want to, you want to lose, use as less grease as possible. Okay. So if you use it, if you did the oven that way, you could just spray the pan or with the marinade, you wouldn't even have to do nothing but cover it tight and you're good to go. We're going to put our onions and peppers on the side and let them start sauteing also with some celery. 
You know, when you're diabetic, you can eat all the vegetables you want. Vegetables are good for you. Vegetables, we need vegetables in our life. Okay, so we're going to see you putting it on the grill. All right. Well, salt is bad for your blood pressure, and blood pressure and diabetes are connected. So the less salt, the le better your pressure. It all works together. It's all Healthy eating keeps your body good. Usually I do all my shopping down 9th Street. 9th Street? Yes, 9th and Washington. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. They know me well down there. Okay. They say, here he come. <laughs> That's a great tradition. Um, yeah. Market, right? Yeah, because our, right, our parents, our grandparents, I remember they used to go get chickens down there. Mm -hmm. yeah. 9th Street. And I can walk there from here. Zito's food market, Giordano's for vegetables. Being healthy doesn't mean you have to spend a lot of money. Okay. Well, seafood, you should always... Salmon is usually always fresh because salmon sells pretty well. Okay. Most fish you should always buy on the fr Friday. Thursday and Friday is always a good day to buy fish because that's the weekend. People always have, as a tradition, black, white, they always ate fish on Friday. So Thursday, Friday is always a good day to buy fish. Okay. And when it's on sale, I mean, when meat is, not fish mostly, but meat, when meat is on sale, the economy is rough, so you have to go and freeze, okay? Get it with it. okay to freeze it? Like, does it take away from the nourishment of it or anything? Like not fresh food, it doesn't. No, no. It takes about 10 minutes for a fish to cook thoroughly on a grill, like especially a grill this tight, you know? Mm -hmm. You always want to make sure your fish is all completely done because uncooked fish can make you very sick. With the marinating, it made it perfect. And then you want the vegetables to have a little charcoal to it. That'll give it the nice grill look. You want it to be you want it to not only taste good, you want it to look good too. You want your meal to look good because looks are 20% of the meal. <laughs> that makes it taste better when it looks good. Every time I rent a kitchen or lease a kitchen in a club or something, Gwen is always by my side. She's been with me for 15 years working with me. That's my number one, Gwen Austin. Shout out to Gwen. Um, and if, if I have a big, large party, I always have to hire like waiters because I don't want to cook, serve. Wait, I can't. It's too much, you know. Right. So how is that process of hiring um, help? Well, people call me all the time. Okay. And you know, see if I'm hiring. So usually, I give a person a try. Like, if, like say if somebody called me today and say I need a job, I say, well, I'm just a small caterer. But I do hire people from time to time. And I'm having a party Saturday, what do you do? You know, if you're a waiter, you know, come on in, you know. You know? So I've done parties up to um, 500 people. I've done a wedding for 500. I do Philly men are cooking almost every year. Okay. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I'm doing it this year. It's November the 24th, I believe, at the Pennsylvania Convention Center. Okay. I did my grandmother's recipe. I'm not gonna be able to find the cookbook. Come on, you gotta be. But this was this was the um this was the placard that they gave us. This was the first time I did it over 10 years ago. Philly men are cooking. Um, Alan Chef Cuddy Singletary, Grandma Sarah Blair's world famous mother chicken. The first that's 10 years ago. Fresh vegetables are so much more economical than frozen or canned. You know, like you go down 9th Street, you get squashed for a dollar, and you know, 
broccoli for two dollars, you know, it's much more natural and healthier, better to buy fresh than and you can even steam it like halfway par cook it and freeze it. You can do vegetables just like just like they do it, you can do it. Just like Green Giant does it, you can steam it and do the exact same thing. Some vegetables, like brock, like yes, most vegetables. Like some people freeze. I had a bad experience with um, freezing fresh broccoli, just fresh. Uh -huh. So it's best to parboil or steam it first. Anything you, you know, it's always best to. And that way, when you're ready to eat it, it's almost done, too. So what is parboil for my audience? They may not understand. Like parboil is when you boil the water and then you flash boil it. Like you put it in there for like two minutes. Okay. Not till it's done, but just crisp. So it's still crisp. So that way, if you wanted to make like a salad, whatever you wanted to do with it, you can still do with it after. Okay. You don't cook it. You like blanch it. You just like two minutes. Okay. You have it. Grilled salmon, brown rice, um, sauteed zucchini squash, 350 calories. Mm. Okay. Oh, you still have it on? Okay. The rice is done enough. They gotta get the rice first. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But brown rice is tough like that, you know? This is good. This is fabulous. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Absolutely fabulous. But my favorite personal client is Petway, hands down. 